Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this hidden furnace system. So this thing is really cool because it's basically flush with your floor. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how this works. So basically all you have to do is drop your coal onto this block here and then drop all your ores onto this one here. And this is going to go ahead and start cooking up that gold ore we just placed in there. And then once it's cooked, it's going to land up into this dropper here. And that was just from uh, previous testing, don't worry about that. But in a second here, as you can see, we've got our gold ingot coming up the top here. And the rest should be coming up really soon. Now it's not the most efficient design, but it's just a really cool and uh, unique way to uh, smelt your ores. Now I'm going to show you how to build this. So what you are going to need is two redstone dust, four redstone torches, two redstone comparators, four hoppers, five droppers, one furnace, two rails, two minecart hoppers, and 64 blocks of your choice. Now the first thing that we're going to do is dig a line of four blocks. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. On these last two, we're going to dig the two blocks behind it. So 1, 2, 1, 2. On this first block here, we're going to dig it down three layers. So 1, 2, 3. And then the remaining ones, we're going to dig down four. So that's three. Now we can't reach the fourth one right yet. So it's going to dig down the three. and then just the fourth layer now. Get your droppers and what we want to do is come over to this block here and we want to place four on top of each other and we want them facing upwards so make sure you're crouching when you do this so jump one two three four and then for this last one we're simply going to place it sideways and then this is basically just an asset and this is basically aesthetic. I can't get this word. And this is basically aesthetic feature. Now we're going to come over to this hole over here, and we just want to go down into the bottom here. So first of all, we want to place a hopper going into this bottom dropper here. So make sure you're crouching and you right-click the side of that dropper. On top of this hopper, we're going to place our furnace. So uh, make sure you're crouching. Place that down. Now on the top here is where all our ore inputs go. So we're simply uh, going to place a hopper on the top there and then on the side of the furnace here we're going to place um, uh, a hopper with the funnel facing towards it into the side and this is where all our fuels are going to be going so uh, make sure make sure again you're crouching when you place this so make sure you right click the side of this furnace here so one and then on top of here add one more hopper now we're going to place down our hopper minecarts. Now you're actually going to need to grab four extra rails. Now the reason I didn't include this in the materials list is because this design actually only needs two rails. We just need these four extra rails to get these rails aligned correctly. So what you want to do is dig the blocks left and right of these hoppers here. And then simply what we're going to do is place two rails there and then just get your remaining four, place them on there, and then one on top of the uh, hoppers like that. Now, as you can see, these two rails that are on the hoppers are parallel to each other, and this is basically how we want them. We don't want them connecting at all. Now that you've done that, you can go ahead and actually break these blocks, all these tracks here, and you'll no longer be needing them now. As you can see, this is how we wanted them. And now you can just place your blocks back like this. And then what we're going to do is just get out of here and then just place your hopper minecarts onto the rails. Now we're going to build the item elevator and I just want to give some credit to Mumbo Jumbo for this design because I found it a lot better than in my previous tutorial where I did the uh, real potion brewing stand. And if you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description because it is pretty cool. But anyway, let's go down into this hole here. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to get a redstone comparator and what we want to do is we want to place it next to this bottom dropper here facing away. We're going to place a block at the end here, a redstone torch on this right side of the block, a block above the redstone torch. We're going to place a block to the right of the comparator, redstone on top of that, 
redstone torch on this front face and then a block on top and basically we want to repeat this again so place a block on top of the comparator and then we're going to place uh, do the exact same process again so comparator block in front of that to the right of it we're going to place a redstone torch block on top of the redstone torch to the right here we're going to place a block redstone dust on the top redstone torch on this front face and then finally the block above this redstone torch now you can actually go ahead and cover this up now so uh, actually oh god that's going to go into the system uh, we'll get that out in a second but you can place uh, your blocks over the top like that and then we're just going to cover this up with the dirt now you do want to make sure that there is no items in there initially or your um, items won't actually go into the uh, furnace below so if you just come down to this bottom here make sure there's no dirt in there or any or anything in these hoppers below so as you can see uh, one of the rails and pieces of dirt went into that hopper we don't want that to be in there but let's go ahead and test this out now so this left one is for the fuel and this right one is for the ore so simply drop your stack down on there and then we'll drop our iron ore on this right side and then in a minute we should have an item getting pulled up to the top here and it should land in this dropper and there is our first piece of iron Woo! so it works now it's that part in the tutorial where I'm going to teach you guys how this works now it is very simple it's nothing too crazy so I'm just going to dig a hole real quickly here just so you guys can get a better understanding of this now there's a cool feature with minecart hoppers where if they're actually placed below a block they will actually suck the item that's basically sitting on top of this block here down into it then these hoppers here are actually sucking the items out of these uh, minecarts here now that's already actually all been sucked out but as you can see it gets pulled down now if you don't know too much about hopper inputs for the furnace the top is for all your ores and then all the sides are where you can actually input your fuels so as you can see this is the fuel and this is and this is the uh, ores and this is the fuel one because it's going into the side so uh, basically these get put into the furnace here and it starts cooking and then below it what we've got a hopper and this basically sucks out when an item is ever in this slot here this hopper here goes into that bottom dropper there and basically how this item elevator works is uh, I'll show you by this top one here it'll be easier just because I won't have to dig up as much basically we're detecting if an item is inside the hopper here if there is this comparator is going to detect it which sets off which sets off a signal and if you don't remember um, there's actually a redstone torch under this block here this basically gets turned off and then if you re if you notice over here what we did is we actually made a basically a um, a torch burnout timer so what this means is let, I'll show you real quickly if we get a redstone torch and a piece of redstone dust if we place a redstone torch there and then a piece of redstone dust there as you can see it starts flashing a lot and then it burns out when this torch under this block here actually gets turned off it allows it to do that basically that flashing that we just saw then and then this actually powers these droppers and brings the item up to this top dropper here now hopefully that explained how it worked I tried to do my best and then lastly if you want you can actually add an indicator to the furnace here so break these two blocks this left side is for all your fuel so maybe you want to place a coal block there and this other one is for your ores so maybe you want to place an ore piece there so we got iron ore and then a coal there just to indicate where we actually put the items into the system so guys that's going to wrap up this redstone tutorial today if you enjoyed make sure you hit that like button because it shows that you support these redstone tutorials and it keeps me motivated to do more if you have any ideas for redstone tutorials let me know down in the comments because i have taken suggestions in the past and make sure you also subscribe that's the most important thing because um, i've actually got a ton of redstone ideas at the moment uh, i'm going to be building a ton of things and i'm going to be smashing out redstone tutorials this christmas so make sure you subscribe if you want to see them but anyway, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.